welcome to our uh, Salesforce introduction session. And thank you for uh, taking this very first step to embarking your Salesforce profession journey. Um, I hope you will find very meaningful information at the end of today and you will make your decision accordingly. So I'll, I'm going to go over Salesforce developer aspect uh, in tech pro education uh, overall. And my name is uh, Aziz, uh, and I'm one of the developer instructors here at Tech Pro Education. Um, I have um, so far three certifications and um, joining through from Florida uh, and uh, love to work on the trailhead and uh, going through my uh, challenges and challenges every day. So uh, we will talk about more also if you embark your journey about the trailhead and more certification and how they um, give you additional remarks in your Salesforce journey. So um, you might need a herd developer uh, from, from, from different places, uh, especially like since you are here, you're most likely thinking to consider a, a Salesforce either developer or some type of an information technology aspect. So um, Salesforce developer uh, is kind of a special computer programmer uh, who writes um, software like all other developers. And this one is on the Salesforce uh, CRM platform um, or another piece of Salesforce cloud technology. So this ranges from creating like websites or developing apps or pages. And, and also a Salesforce developer works with computer codes. So there will be the coding here in the developer aspect. So we will be writing the codes like JavaScript, if you are familiar, HTML and Apex on a kind of daily basis. So sometimes like the coding might be kind of scary at, at first point, uh, it's kind of another language that you are trying to learn. But uh, as you see here on this presentation, so you will be working this on a daily basis. If you work something on a daily basis, you will definitely improve your skills. So as you start your journey as a junior Salesforce developer, and as you work with those codes like JavaScript, HTML, and specifically Apex codes, so you will see that you will see your errors missing and you will improve and develop yourself uh, in an age every day. So um, kind of most developers with uh, who work in Salesforce technologies, build kind of custom business apps and solutions for those clients, okay? They do this with the Salesforce platform. They provide this platform. It's a, you know, so the Salesforce product is software as a service. And this kind of includes like sales cloud, either service cloud or experience cloud. And there are different type of clouds based upon the client's needs. And also like beyond the Salesforce platform, there are many other opportunities for developers in the world of Salesforce. So some kind of build marketing experiences on marketing cloud, some build like health cloud, and some build also like experience cloud. But there are always opportunities for the Salesforce developer. In addition, Salesforce technologies offer opportunities for developers who work with every aspect of business applications. So uh, again, those, this, there's a spectrum of these applications and you can find yourself very well suited as you continue your journey in Salesforce developer. So which skills does a developer need uh, to work with Salesforce? So there are some uh, you know, technical skills here, also like, like code, is like the stuck in trade of every developer. So you may wonder like which programming languages you, you might use and which platform you will use, what is the IDE you, you will use. So kind of a lot of depends on which part of Salesforce world you choose to work in, okay? So um, I can say that the, the two most prominent languages in Salesforce world are JavaScript and the Apex. You might maybe heard the Apex, you know, uh, new or just recently. Apex is a programming language developed for the Salesforce platform. It is very much similar to Java language. Uh, and if you are familiar with the Java language, Apex is really, you know, quite similar to that. On the other hand, JavaScript is a totally different language. 
uh, but it is also very fun to learn and it's very fun to implement both JavaScript and the Apex in your coding. Um, yeah, for those who might familiar or not, but JavaScript is, you know, of course, the language used for front end customizations. And as kind of in Salesforce, we use this mostly um, through Lightning Web Components. So these are very uh, customized components based upon the client needs and then retrieve the data from the user end as well as the database. Those customized components is very out of box approach in Salesforce uh, profession. So as I said, like Apex is the most widely adopted backend language in Salesforce ecosystem. And now we retrieve the data from this database through mostly Apex coding. Um, data is very important. So we need to reach out the data. That's the mostly primary goal for the developers. So the data is mostly in the database. So we need to retrieve the data. Like there are two types of queries, query languages the Salesforce has developed. One of them is uh, SOQL. It stands for Salesforce Object Query Language. It's also called SQL. It is like very similar uh, if for those who know, like SQL, SQL, like Structured Query Language. It's like, you know, Oracle and their other uh, query languages. It's very similar to that. And this is kind of used for accessing data in the Salesforce multi-tenant database. Um, specifically for the Salesforce, there is one another um, query language. It is a Salesforce object search language. This is kind of a search language. It is a text-based language that you know you can find both data and the documents stored on the platform. On the other hand, for the customization and the front end piece, you need to have HTML and CSS skills, which you will gain through Tech Pro here, as well as development deployment tools. So once you prepare your code, once it is being tested and ready to go, and this needs to be have a certain process, we call deployment tools. There are several deployment tools that the Salesforce use, as well as some of the other uh, additions, mostly the chain set, Capado, and the recently Salesforce DevOps Center. So these are the commonly used three deployment tools that are being used in Salesforce. So you do not have to have these skills before you start. So this is kind of your end goal. You will learn those skills and you will have check mark for each of them at the end of your this career prep program. On your screen also, you are seeing two code snippets. One of them is written like an IDE um, platform. Uh, we are going to use Visual Studio Code for those who might be familiar. Uh, it's designed more in Salesforce. Apex also runs in this platform very well. And the second part is like building a built-in developer console in the Salesforce org. So I just would like to also show these two uh, pictures. Uh, I hope they look nice and fancy, not scary that much. <laughs> Uh, even though those may not make sense anything at this moment, but again, as you embark your journey, those are very, you know, straightforward and very nice uh, piece of codes that you will be working on. All right. Um, we kind of talked about earlier uh, with Mr. Byram about the Salesforce uh, Professions, uh, overall, its progress in the upcoming years and in overall the Salesforce. Like, uh, how about the Salesforce developers? Uh, so, develop developers are always in a hot uh, occupation, hot career um, that in the market. And based upon this, is the data from the Salesforce uh, source. So, in the last five years, the number of new developer positions has increased by. 206 percent kind of this is an overall in the overall range year by year some years maybe higher some years less but overall more than 200 percent increase and uh, based on the u.s data uh, a starting salary for a developer this is the overall the average 10800 thousand u.s dollars per year so this is a very high you know highly uh, required highly seek position and that is what they are kind of offering. 
when you become a de developer, uh, there's always a community in the Salesforce. And like uh, as the ecosystem around Salesforce grows, developers also continue to be sought uh, highly after that. And also uh, for those developers often come to Salesforce as a career opportunity. Um, once there, uh, many of them love the friendly and supporting em uh, environment in the Salesforce developer community. So uh, that also you will be part of this community that you will feel this support uh, along with those other fellow um, developers. Um, so there are some certification in Salesforce. These certifications measures the overall the knowledge and uh, information that you obtain and to you know to 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 get those certification credentials. And one of them is a uh, platform developer one, specifically after you complete your um, developer badge uh, at the end of your um, career prep, uh, you will be uh, very well. Uh, can sit and take this platform developer one certification. Uh, you will know this knowledge and contents through our uh, instructors and the structure of Tech Pro. Um, you will see here the uh, some of the contents, uh, number of questions, the allotted time, and the passing score, along with the the, the distribution of the questions uh, here but developer fundamentals, process automation and logic, kind of UI, user interface, testing, deb debugging, and deployment also, about 20% here. So uh, overall, uh, once you complete the course, you will be easily uh, passing your certification exams with here. In this slide, you are seeing the Tech Pro Education's comprehensive Salesforce professional career prep courses. Throughout your journey, uh, you will be equipped with those skills and then of your badge before you graduate. Um, at the beginning, uh, Mr. Zafar has mentioned about the Salesforce administrator. This is a, is a huge bundle set. So once you complete this uh, with the admin project, it's going to be followed after that. So you will practice those in your projects. And uh, so projects are kind of a um, real uh, life scenario examples where you are working as if you are one of the Salesforce administrator of a company along with your peers. You will work in a team uh, consists of five to you know six people and your fellow you know colleagues will be working and taking your the tickets that are come to your way and then understand the business logic, understand the, the tickets, follow the software development life cycle. So you will be part of these uh, comprehensive projects where you will gain also your experience in the software as a software, uh, as a Salesforce administrator. Uh, along with that, uh, when you go through the developer side, so there will be a core Apex instructions Along with that, you will learn the Salesforce object query language instruction, uh, socials and socials, uh, Apex exceptions, triggers, like asynchronous Apex. You will also need to write your test classes, Apex test classes, uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and for the Git and GitHub uh, employments, deployment instructions like Aura components, these are kind of uh, expired by some of the companies, they still use it. So you will have a basic understanding as well with the, what is Aura component. Whenever you see a code, you will understand what it is look like. So this is also one of the plus for you uh, in Tech Pro, along with the new lightning out of box component. So you will kind of learn both of them. This is double plus for your career uh, opportunity. You will also learn integration parts, callouts, you know, web services, how to become a web service for the clients, and how you can reach out to callouts, other third-party systems in Salesforce. This is also very well used in the market now, integration. And overall, like sales software development lifecycle, you are pretty much developing a software, and there will be a structure in that. As a, a Tech Pro student, you will very well understand how does the this software lifecycle starts? 
what is the first step, then what is the next come, and how it pro processes through, and how it is going to be deployed at the end. So that is also very critical and fundamental. As a developer, you need to understand what is software development lifecycle is. So soft skills is also very important along with your skills, okay? So you need to very well um, you know, express yourself either verbally as well as writing in a, you know, uh, in a paper like your resume. And uh, the professions here at uh, Tech Pro will help you how to write your resume through resume builder sessions, as well as interview preparations, critical parts, your posture, your approach to each questions, through like mock interviews. And uh, you will have also projects in the developer site. You will that time take your developer, Salesforce develop, developer role and complete the development tickets and the tasks in, this pro, in the project throughout your course. At the end of the course and after uh, you graduate, you will be also given an opportunity if you would like to be a part of a real life uh, project uh, through internship experiences. So you will be part of this uh, internship program. You will continue your experiences through in this real life company settings. And throughout your uh, studentship, you will be a part of mentoring groups. In this mentoring group, you will work with your fellow uh, classmates and assign with the mentor instructors. Those mentor instructors will be working in a group and one by one. And lastly, but not least, the certification prep. Take pro and make sure that you are obtained these qualifications uh, before you graduate so that you will be ready for the market. Those are the administrator and platform developer one. And lastly, Salesforce CPQ. And Salesforce CPQ is uh, most like, it stands for configure, price, and code. It is like a, um, business software application design for sales teams. And uh, they kind of do, they, they, they provide the product options and the price with the different type of accuracy settings. So this is also very uh, well uh, seek position, seek certification, uh, like CPQ certified uh, developers and administrators will be highly uh, seek in the uh, market. So this is an overall, in a nutshell, uh, what you will be gained throughout your journey uh, in Tech Pro Education. So that is all from my part here. I would like to thank each one of you for coming and uh, joining this session as taking your very first step for your Salesforce profession. I would like to thank and also congratulate each one of you. Thank you so much.